appear to be counted, filling the darkness. This can be described in the whole new setup of online learning. With minimal to literally no interaction in the educational atmosphere, how do we continue learning? Rather, how do we still learn? With the emerging cases of COVID-19 in the Philippines, bringing the government to decide on the implementation of community quarantine last March 14, 2020, it is not a doubt that millions of Filipino lives have been affected by several factors, most especially on financial aspects. The community quarantine underwent several phases, from enhanced community quarantine to the general one. And worse, the duration from the primary goal of two to three weeks elongated into a total of seven months. With this, the Department of Education released a statement about the opening of classes in the school year 2020 to 2021. DepEd's current secretary, Leonor Briones, stressed the importance of the academic year to continue. According to Briones, private schools may start as early as June, while public schools started in October. Applying different learning systems such as online learning, modular learning, and blended learning. Moreover, with the implementation of the online learning setup as the country continues to thrive and the current situation of the pandemic has made tremendous changes in the whole educational sector. With the new materials to be used by the students, to the new teaching strategies to be learned by our teachers, it is no wonder that this learning setup shook the whole education system by surprise. Numerous complaints arise since the start of the school year. Simple delayed internet connectivity and the inability to afford the requirements for online learning has caused a lot of dismay and confusion that it sets a negative atmosphere to the new learning approach. But is it possible to see things beyond their bad sides? Is it possible to see the light at the end of the cavern? From my experience, I can say that there are some skills that I have developed as a learner with the help of social media platforms. Social media platforms are those of which we use to connect with other people and are the applications we tend to make use of most of the time due to their availability and a source of dependability despite long distance relationships. Additionally, I can describe the knowledge that I have gained with the use of social media in this online learning setup as a self-reflecting experience that has led to self-growth. By using social media platforms, I was able to discover myself more and improve whatever I lacked as I viewed people to whom I considered as my inspirations. Also, I have opened myself to more ideas and suggestions from different social issues that are tackled in social media. From this, I felt like I have matured as a person and experienced many life learnings even in the comfort of my own home. So now, I stand before you today, and I'm going to share three different social media applications that have contributed to my growth as an online student. To start, let's have the most famous social media platform that even the youngest person you know has, Facebook. Facebook keeps us updated in other people's status in life and influences ours as well in different ways possible. By using this application, it helped me interact with my loved ones and talk to them momentarily, strengthening both of our connections. In such a way, it has also helped me with my online learning as our teachers use this to disseminate pertinent information such as schedules and other related announcements about our classes. Furthermore, it has helped me to work more efficiently with my classmates whenever we have group works. And lastly, it has helped me self-reflect on the things that I share, which I want to implore to the world. Following Facebook is Twitter. This bird app serves as an informal forum for me to indulge in. From the different societal issues to political stances, it has helped me mold my critical thinking skills that I now often use to learning in concepts of the studies. From the different ideas discussed by people, I am picking up bits and pieces on how they control the topic and address the arguments on hand. It has shown me the perceptions of people with regards to an issue being discussed, which has made me more open-minded with how the topics are being presented. 
it made me more mature in evaluating both of arguments that is needed in life when weighing both options. By using the social media platform, my cognitive skills grew and matured as fast as each person records an argument. Last but not the least, YouTube. This video streaming social media applications helped me to do what I got to do. Those that I perceive as hard enough to comprehend through reading, I tend to watch on YouTube. Mathematical tutorials, science experiments, animated lectures to concept studies, everything that is needed through visual representation is in this platform. This application is not just for entertainment, but also for knowledge to handle certain things and learn something by actually performing them. It has also helped me grow from a teacher-dependent student to an independent student in terms of self-learning. Just by searching a certain topic or a certain lesson, you'll know how to address your query and learn on your own. These are just some of the benefits I, as well as other students, have acquired by using social media platforms. I am delighted enough to have used any resource possible for me to bear this new learning setup in this time of pandemic. It is indeed true, as the saying goes, if there's a will, then there's a way. Even though we are still adapting to this new kind of learning, I hope this would not be the reason for students to give up. This is now our reality. So let's take it as a challenge. If you truly want to learn, you'll use whatever resources you have, just like online, online social media platforms, for you to achieve the type of learning that you want to have, rather any type of goal you wish to accomplish. My name is Julia Pastrana, and I hope you've learned from the three social media platforms that have contributed to my growth.